A new debate has broken out over the LGBT movement and sports after the German goalkeeper Emmanuel Neuer wore a rainbow-colored captain's armband at a couple of games at the Euro 2020. UEFA launched an investigation to find out if wearing the armband was a political statement and then ban him from wearing it. They actually ended up deciding against it, but the whole thing has now, as you can imagine, triggered a wave of outrage on social media. So right now they're talking about covering the whole arena of the next game that's being played in Germany in rainbow colors. But what this really made me think about is what role does political standpoints have in sports, if any at all? Doesn't it just divide us more than unite us? Alright, so a lot of stuff to get into, but let me just say that obviously I'm not against anyone's human rights and that goes for the LGBT movement as well. I just don't believe that anyone should have special rights. As I said, this really began when Emmanuel Neuer decided to wear this rainbow-colored armband at some of the games at Euro 2020, but in particular in the game against Hungary, because some people saw it as a political statement, because Hungary is known for having stricter rules against the LGBT community than most other countries in the West. But UEFA actually has its own rules against players making political statements on the field. So they launched an investigation looking into whether or not this was a political statement by Emmanuel Neuer. And by the way, at the same time, they launched another investigation looking into if the Hungarian fans had acted in uh, with discrimination right at the at the game but not a lot of people know about that other investigation either way in a letter just released they ended up saying that the armband has been assessed as a team symbol for diversity and thus for a good cause so that seems kind of legit that they wanted to find out if this was a political statement or not right if it actually broke any of their rules but in terms of the hungarian fans they said that they're looking into an anti-kneeling protest banner as they marched to the stadium for Saturday's game and other banners saying Brotherhood and Magyar Rorsak uh, or Hungary. The countries, they also said that the country's prime minister, Viktor Orban, has said he supported the anti-kneeling protests and that this kneeling business should not take place on the pitch. So the difference here is that they are looking into a player who's actually under a contract who might have breached that contract and the rules of UEFA and they're looking into fans who are carrying banners outside the stadium, which I mean, why would you even look into that, right? So UEFA is performing these two investigations, but they're coming under fire for only one of them, not for investigating the fans walking around outside of the arena slogans on the banners that some people disagree with which i i don't get why you would investigate i mean fans are under no contract to do anything other than behave when you're inside of the arena but they are under fire for investigating whether or not this was a political statement by the the goalkeeper neuer which i which i i don't get why people put them under fire for that i mean i understand that you want to support the lgbt movement and all of that, but they actually have guidelines that he might have crossed by wearing the armband. And players are under these contracts not to make sports too, too uh, politicized because it's bad for both, both for business but also for the fans, right? So right now the debate has turned to the next game in Germany where they are pushing for the whole arena to be covered in rainbow colored lights. UEFA has denied this until now, but the pressure is building up to actually cover the whole arena in, in rainbow lights. Uh, so they send out this tweet. It says that UEFA is respecting the rainbow, that for UEFA the rainbow is not a political symbol, but a sign of our firm commitment to a more diverse and including society. So they're trying to meet them halfway here, right? And, and by the way, supposedly breaking their own guidelines in the process of no political statements, but it still isn't enough. Because see, now they put themselves in this predicament because they're saying that they are in support of all of this and it's not a political statement, but then they're being pressured right now because people are saying, well, if it's not a political statement, then why are you bigots? Why are you not putting up these rainbow colored lights all around the arena? So it kind of never ends. 
All of that leads us to the important point of all of this. Sports is where we go to get away from politics. It's, it's something that unites us and politics is something that divides us. When athletes kneel down for the Black Lives Matter movement, I think they do it mostly for the slogan that Black Lives Matter, which I think everyone agrees with. But the problem is that there's a political movement behind the slogan as well. And they have their own agenda that some people agree with and other people disagree with. So it ends up dividing people anyways. And that's why you shouldn't invite it into sports. We cannot tear sports apart for political stance. We need to keep sports as free from politics as humanly possible. Social movements are really important, but athletes typically are playing for a club or for a nation. And in essence, they represent the club or the nation they play for. So when they stand for something on the field, sometimes indirectly, it looks like the club is standing for the same thing. And whether you agree or disagree, it's always going to divide people if it's a political issue. And trust me, we don't need to be more divided in, in these weird times. Don't get me wrong, I like that people can stand for what they stand for, that we have that freedom in the West, because you don't in, in most of the rest of the world. I mean, good luck starting an LGBT movement in China or the Middle East or a lot of other places. But I'm telling you, this politicization of sports, no matter where you stand on the issue, is going to divide people and is going to take from us one of the last things that we can get together and everyone just enjoy at the same time. So really, I have no issue with clubs and countries telling their players not to promote their political ideas when playing. It's, it's simply not good for business or the fans either, which I guess is the same thing. I remember watching the NBA when they put all of these Black Lives Matter banners on the, on the fields of the arena. And all of a sudden, they didn't get why their ratings began to plummet. And some people were like, it's just because people are bigots, they just don't get it. But I really think that it's just because normal people like you and me, we just want to watch sports without having someone's political opinions thrown in your face. No matter if people are right on the issue or if they're wrong, you don't want to, to spend your time watching sports watching the Euro 2020s or, or the NBA. You don't want to spend your time watching sports, having other people try to ram their political opinions down your throat at the same time. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I know this is a very contentious issue, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.